Hey everybody, it's DWTV2010 again, and I'm finally back with two more episodes of NCAA football. Um, I'm I'm thinking this game will be tough. I I don't really know yet because I really haven't played a tough game against anybody yet. Which kind of reminds me, do you think I should turn up the difficulty? Do you like seeing me kill people, like just destroy teams? I mean, this may not happen in this game, I don't really know, because Notre Dame's pretty good, usually. But, do you want to see, like, closer games, more intense games, or do you just, like, or do you enjoy watching teams just get destroyed? <laughs> I mean, not, like, crushed, like, 70 to 0 or anything, but, like, do you, would you prefer, like, me playing a really tough, just tough game, like, every time, or just easy like that <laughs> so yeah let, leave it in the comments let me know because right now I'm just gonna keep it at this because no one's really told me anything so yeah um, so tell me what you want um, I'm willing to listen so yeah and you, if you noticed if you've been keeping up with my channel you saw me post the on um, battlefield 3 video before this one because one I was getting kind of tired of this game but I'm definitely going to finish this series, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm definitely going to finish this season, and I will be posting every game of that season. So you don't have to worry about that. But I'm just I'm just really excited for Battlefield 3. That's probably going to be one of the games I play a lot until Christmas, really. I'm going to be playing it for like a very long time, but it's going to be one of those games that I play a lot until the Christmas season. And I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to get after that. I was thinking about getting Rage, but I don't know. Uh, there's so many, like this, I think you need two discs, right? You know, whatever, but regardless of you need two discs, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been, like, following very many different types of, like, all the games that are out. So, if you think I should cover a game, if you think I should do whatever for a game, let me know, because I haven't been, I haven't been following too much. Like the games that are out. So, if you want me to talk about it, go ahead and tell me in the comments. And, oh, damn it. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to score on that one. So, okay, I have, I have a question. Does, does anyone who watch these videos, like, do any of you have any recruiting tips? Like, I'm, I'm okay with recruiting, I, I usually get everyone that I need. Well, I always get everyone that I need, and then I usually get, like, four or five to six extra people. So, I, I think I'm okay at recruiting, but and does anyone have any, like, tips that they use that they, like, they get some, like, guaranteed players? Do you think I should buy that, um, that thing? I don't remember what it's called, but it, like, it tells you what, like, which one of the people who are also recruiting that player, like, they show you how much time that they devote to that player each week. And so you can, like, manage how much time you want to devote to that player. So you can always have, like, more, and so they'll always like you more. Like, I, I don't think I should buy that just because it's kind of a waste of money. I, I already think I do pretty good. And I, I I don't see the point in spending, like, five extra bucks just to do that. Especially with a game I don't play all that much. I, think. I mean, I play this game some sometimes, but I don't. Like, only play this game. So, any advice you could give me would really be appreciated. And, yeah, so, if you can do that, I'd love it. Okay. Let's try to stop him from getting any momentum. <laughs> Jeez, that was pretty bad. I feel like their offensive line isn't that good. I don't know why. Wait, is that their running back? Why is their running back playing quarterback? What? Why are they in Wildcat, really? This is the question. <laughs> Look, don't be in Wildcat with no one in the backfield. That makes no sense to me. And guess what? You're getting picked. <laughs> that was the worst pass. <laughs> are you kidding me? That was the worst pass I've ever seen. Like, he had no chance. Zero chance of catching that. 
gosh. I can already tell this game will not be very difficult. <laughs> oh, oh! If he had broken past that second tackle, he would have been gone. That was a nice tackle, though. And I think I know I'm going to throw it to. Wide open. <laughs> Why is he always wide open? I, I, I don't understand. Like, I really wish someone would tell me why that play 99% of the time works. It's, it's the weirdest thing. And, oh. I thought I was going to get stuffed. <laughs> okay. Oh, sh I hate when my offensive line tries to double teams one person, but they just leave it in it. A completely different person wide open even if they're like right on the line or threatening to run and they don't even bother to acknowledge him it's like that's not gonna help the team wide open oh Montrell <laughs> that's a weird number to be like for a tight end number 40 I don't know every time I think of a tight end I just think of 80s just like most wide receivers I don't know, I just, I've never seen a tight end with number 40, so I just think that's kind of weird. And you're open. That's the end of the quarter. I've always wanted to visit Notre Dame. I hear it's like, I don't think really Catholic and stuff, but I've always just wanted to see it. And oh my gosh, amazing blocking. <laughs> That was the biggest hole. Okay, will this work? And, yep. And that's two touches. <laughs> Honestly, I would not even... After, there's a certain point, which I'm assuming I'm going to get to, where it's going to be like 28 to 0 or like 35 to 0. And it's going to be raining, and I would just leave, honestly. I, I would just leave. It's like, why am I even watching my team just get raped <laughs> at home in the rain? Just like, I, I wouldn't be enjoying that, that experience. Okay. I'd be more wary of my kickoff. Like, when I kick off, I, I feel like a lot of the times I don't protect as well as I should. Like, I feel like I leave giant holes in the coverage, and you're about to get destroyed. <laughs> That's the perfect defense for that kind of play. I wonder why the end zone doesn't have, like, any name in it. Like, I wonder why they just put lines through it. Is it just, like, more of a classic thing, or... Because I, I don't really know. I, I'm assuming it's kind of like a classic thing that they do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Terrible. <laughs> Why does everybody do this? Everyone does rush off him. Oh, get it. Oh. Jeez, he almost caught that. One good thing, I, I feel like I'm getting the quarterback almost every play. We're getting close to the quarterback almost every play. So I can already tell this is going to be another good defensive day. <laughs> and speak of the devil, sack. Before the game, I, I compared the stats between the two teams. Like, my offense isn't, like, great or anything. They're just mid, like, kind of mid in the country, like 50s and 60s. But my defense... Number one overall, number one pass defense, number one rush defense. I've only let up 732 yards this whole season. And I've played six games, I think. Yeah, I think I've played six games. Ooh, if you broke that tackle, you could have gone for a while. But yeah, that's that's terrific. 732 yards in like six games. That's incredible.
And I think I know who I'm throwing it to. Lot, lot, just kidding. <laughs> and I caught him off guard. <laughs> but one time I actually planned that, which is kind of weird. Because I, I felt like after doing that play three, two or three times, that they're going to kind of protect, <laughs> they're going to try to cover the tight end a little bit more. So that worked perfect. And, oh, that guy didn't lay out my running back. I'd have been pretty sick. He'd just run over the defensive lineman. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. And a huge hole. Are you see? Oh. What is wrong with their defense? I'm just destroying them on every single level. And I know what play I'm doing. I feel like I'm using this play too much. I don't know why. I just I just feel like I am. <laughs> and that was stupid. And I got really, really lucky. I I got way too <laughs> I got way too comfortable. I'm surprised he didn't Okay, no, I'm changing this play. It's too many people. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be okay. And he's open. Oh, what a catch. That was a bad throw, but who cares? 21-0. to zero. Like, this is embarrassing at, at this point. When it's 21-0, to zero, it's, not, it's not really, I guess, that horrible yet. But if I score again, I'd be embarrassed. Like, I, I'd be pissed off. <laughs> okay. See, no, my God. See, this is what I mean. I feel like I'm not getting to him quick enough. I feel like I'm getting stopped way too early. Oh. So they keep getting, like, 24-yard returns. And I don't even kick it that far, so they always get to, like, the 30 every time. Then again... You know, my defense is great, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I wish I could, like, work on it. I kind of like that addition. Like, when it's raining, people slip sometimes. Because that's more realistic. Oh, shit. No, no, he overthrew it. <laughs> and another pick. <laughs> oh, nice block. Okay. Oh, oh that was a nice return. I honestly thought he underthrew it, so I was like, oh my god, he's going to catch it because it's going to go right between these people. And then, <laughs> well, that worked perfectly fine. It's weird. Why are they all so close to each other? Oh, that was a weird... Oh! Oh! If that guy wasn't there, he was wide open. Especially because he was cutting to the inside. Oh my gosh, he was wide open. I'll do the same play. And you're wide open. Look, look. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm tired. Oh shit, that did not work very well. <laughs> I'll do that play. So I think I asked this question in a different episode, but I know you, oh shit, okay, but I know USC is on probation, like they can't be in a bowl game, but I, does that apply to this game? I, I don't know, because I'm number 11 in the country. If I win this game, I feel like I'm going to gain like a bunch of ranks. So... Okay. let's say theoretically I made it to the national championship like I was number one or number two, but I'd be able to play in it. Like, I, I don't know, honestly. Oh, okay. No, I think I'm just going to hold it. 
Okay, yeah, that, that's that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember, this is DWTV 2010, and um, I'll see you guys next episode when I finish this route of Notre Dame. See ya.